Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Lunatic TV Spookfest. What's today's episode? Well, tonight's episode? Dracula 2000. My best friend apparently loves this movie. I'm sorry, but I don't. You cannot put a religious spin on Dracula. What? We've always known Dracula, and we've never really known his backstory, at least I haven't. But I'm pretty sure he wasn't Judas. So we begin in 1897, en route to London. Gerard Butler? Holy crap! What's with the music, if you can call it that? <laughs> A shadowy figure! Now we're in London 2000. What was the point of that flashback? I mean, it established nothing. So what was the point? Oh, my poor grandfather could have inspired a character out of Bram Stoker's book. A reference to Bram Stoker? As if that could redeem this movie. I don't date men that I work with. Where was that rule a month ago? It's new. Burn? Where are they? Aside from being in London and then in a Carfax antiques, where are they? What's good? What? Good evening. I heard you had some sort of security problem. Nice British accent. Stash housing. Security shutting down. Fingerprint identification confirmed. Stand by for retinal scan. Wow, they went all out. Uh, how did they uh, obtain all this information? She's bound to know something's up. How very attractive. You don't build this kind of security without a gold mine to hide. Listen to me. You and I are going to find it. Or she'll just be in on it. Of course she is. Because all women are evil. <laughs> Duh. What is he doing? He's the original Van Helsing, not the grandson? Fucking thousand-year-old silverware? It's not silverware. It's a coffin. to be those two. It's not possible. Get it, Grandpa? I'm not touching anything. You will do exactly what he tells you to do! 
Bitch is desperate. What was with the flashing? Jesus. Freaky guy. <laughs> Where are you going? Well, I must tend to this matter myself. How does he know where they're going? Matthew, what did they take? Simon, you don't want to know. Don't ask. <laughs> He's from that 70s show, isn't he? That's twice, dude. Twice. Bad. Bad, and I didn't even like that 70s show. So you really suck. Fog. How terrifying. So scared. I'm sorry, but you're going to die. You're an idiot. Ew. Now you're going to die. Told you you're dead. Then it's good you're here. It's... She's confessing. That's bizarre. Did she ever say what it was she thought she was protecting me from? Why are you asking me this? She came to you the week before she died. Her confession would have been confidential, you know that. We're friends, David. Remember, tell me. As my friend, not as a priest. But it's his duty as a priest to keep it. Simon followed him? What an idiot. He should have left well enough alone. But you're probably not gonna die because you're probably gonna end up being the protagonist. God, I hate. Whenever you're ready, Val. This is Valerie Sharp, reporting on a flight of death. <laughs> oh my god. Shane West! The last time I saw you, you were in the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, which was not so extraordinary. It was rather mediocre, actually. friend. Just run away. Great. <laughs> How is he out in the day? <laughs> Seriously, what's with the girl? <laughs> oh my god. Lucy is vitamin C. And she's stocking CDs of her own album. <laughs> that is awesome. In a really tragic sort of way. Well, you're dead.
definitely prepared. And, uh, after September 11th, you definitely wouldn't be able to get those past. Yeah. Sam! You should be in London, I told you! You told me to look the other way. You're going to be dead, you're an idiot for following Van Helsing, and your breathing is pissing me off. I said I was sorry. Doesn't matter. Nope. Sorry, sport. I'm an atheist. <laughs> God loves you anyway. <laughs> okay, that's probably the best line in the movie. Seriously, that is fucking awesome. Yet he doesn't love the pagans? Or the homosexuals? Hi. You still want to save her now? You birds like to sweet talk and your birds like to romance. Uh, and all I want to do is suck. Oh my. I wonder if she felt the same way before she turned into a vampire. The guys must have loved her. <laughs> Cut her. You, you idiot. What just happened in there? Two things. Number one, you didn't need to yell. Number two, what happened? You were weak. You were weak. Weak, weak, weak. <laughs> told you to kill her. You also told him to stay in London. See how well that worked out? Draculia. He's real. I assure you. And he's... Gerard Butler? Wait, what? The same Gerard Butler who seduced the likes of Angelina Jolie in Tomb Raider 2. And Katherine Heigl in The Ugly Truth? The same fucking man who surprised me by his ability to not only enchant but sing in Phantom of the Opera? No fucking way. It looks nothing like him! What, did he get a facelift? Or complete reconstruction? He's a fucking twilight son. You're the one who wanted the truth, and you saw what happened back there. How much more proof do you need? Idiot! <laughs> Welcome to the 20th century, Dracula. Chaotic, isn't it? And yet, Colorful. Oh hey, and now I can tell Sarah Butler. Wow. What was with the coins? You getting this on tape? Look at me when I'm talking to you. She won't show up on the screen. Be having a mind fuck right now. I mean, my head would explode if I woke up after a hundred and year and three years of sleep. Oh dear, he's outside the Virgin store. Okay, girls, let's not have an orgy in the middle of the Virgin Megastore. Calm yourselves. It's just Gerard Butler, and he's only in a costume. He doesn't look like this all the time. Wow. Can I help you? I'm here for... Okay, Lucy, don't cream yourself all at once. You want to come in? Yeah, she invited him in. 
Stupid, 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 stupid. This place used to be your mom's. We had to give it a little personality, though. It was a little, um, oh, what's the word? Catholic. <laughs> it was a little Catholic for a reason. Uh, I, uh... Yes. Let's see. I was named after the Peanuts character. How tragic for you. Really. Oh my. I didn't know you could do that. Well, technically you can't, I know. Fadman sees breasts. I never thought I would see those. Eye for an eye, mate! Ow! Dude, you cannot be badass when you say ow like a ten year old. Never! Ever! Fuck with an antique stealer! Never fuck with an antique stealer. Why? Because you guys are real hardcore or something? Yeah, right. He's not dead. Okay. Now he is. Sure, Dad, just walk right in. Lucy? Um, I'm guessing not. That can't help you. Nice try, though. Oh my, that's a lot of blood. I haven't seen this much blood since I watched Dracula Dead and Loving It. Oh my god! And I love it. Scene. He was like the only character that didn't bug the crap out of me in this movie. Well, that and Dracula, because he doesn't really say much. And his Gerard Butler. <laughs> Wait, what? It is better than chocolate. <laughs> I bet. Oh, I bet he is. Oh wait, we're talking about Dracula for a second there. I thought we were talking about Gerard Butler. Never mind. He passed on to you. It's <laughs> not like the rest of us. Little prom. Sorry about that. Man. You sucked in prom. <laughs> <laughs> Hallucinate much? You can't kill him. Van Helsing already told you that. Now I can never pay him back. Except maybe by doing right by you. Even though you never did right by him? all rather insipid. Still Mardi Gras? This is a very long night. Sorry TV star, but you've been staked. Well, Simon, you fail.
ridiculous nonsense. If only I had a gun. No wonder this movie sucks. And not in that way. It's because they gave it a religious background. Dracula is just Dracula. End of story. For my father. The ultimate betrayal. Just die! Oh, she's the only one who could kill him. Why? Oh, because she has his blood or some shit like that. What the fuck ever? <laughs> Dude, you can't even kill one chick. Epic fail. You and I, we could. Took you long enough. You're immortal. Are you afraid of falling? <laughs> Suddenly, she's no longer a vampire. Right. Okay, yeah. Eight pages of notes. I could do without this movie. But, you know, as I say about most of my reviews, or at least uh, Halloween ones, this is not the worst. Well, there you have it. Dracula 2000. If only I could put a stake through this movie. Poor Bram Stoker. I'm sure he'd like to put a stake through whomever wrote the screenplay for this. Dracula was not Judas. The next episode is the very last episode. Ooh, it's not really scary, it's just stupid. Like what I'm doing right now isn't scary, it's just stupid and kind of annoying. Goodbye. So you're gonna have to deal with the reflection. Sorry.